What free agent do you want the Bears to sign before training camp gets going? That's the topic on today's show. I got six players the Bears could still sign in free agency. So I want you to flood the comments with players you want the Bears to sign. You're in charge. You're the general manager. You're Ryan Pace. And with that being said, I got six players the Bears could still target in free agency starting right now. Let's get a little background information before we get into my six uh, free agent targets for the Chicago Bears. Let's look at the salary cap. Almost $12.5 million in cap space as of now. But that's a little misleading because the Bears have to sign their seven draft picks. But they're expected to come in at around $5.5, $6 million, $5.8 million is about the expected number against the cap for the seven draft picks. So that leaves the Bears with you know $6.7-ish million in cap space to work with real cap space, I should say, because, again, you got to get your, uh, your rookies uh, signed there, but the Bears have some money. They could create some more money if they cut or trade a couple of pieces, so they could add a piece or two in free agency, like someone like Mark Barron, as I get into my first player here, my number six free agent target. N not a player that's, you know, going to, you know, light anybody on fire, but veteran linebacker. Bears need some depth at that inside linebacker spot. You know, he's not the player he used to be, where he was a 120 tackle guy a year, you know, starting all 16 games. He's kind of a part-time starter now. Started nine games last year for Pittsburgh. He's an ideal third inside linebacker behind uh, Smith and Treva Trevathan, Roquan Smith, Dan Danny Trevathan there. Not a lot of depth on the inside and I don't think it'll cost that much for the Chicago Bears to sign Mark Barron you look at the production recently look like 2016 you're not getting that like he's not going to start 16 games give you 120 tackles but can he be a part-time starter give you 30 snaps a game and have 50 to 75 tackles I think that's very much in the realm of possibility and Let's be honest, Danny Trevathan has some injury history. So does Roquan Smith, not as much, but do you trust the guys behind them? Do you trust, uh, you know, uh, Woods to come in there and, and give you some uh, some quality snaps? You don't have Nick Kukowski anymore. Uh, I would feel a lot more comfortable if the Bears signed someone like a Mark Barron for very cheap to come in and be that third inside linebacker. All right, Bears fans, I want you to type me if you've already subscribed here on Chicago Bears Now. So type me in the comments if you're already a loyal subscriber. If you haven't, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that big red subscribe button, turn on notifications. That way you never, ever miss a video here on the channel. No one's going to keep you up to date on the Chicago Bears as much as I will here on Bears Now. Next player here is Lamar Miller. Look, you know, we've talked about Devontae Freeman a little bit about LaShawn McCoy. There are carries to be had on this Bears rushing attack behind David Montgomery. Now, Miller did not play last season. He tore his ACL in the preseason a year ago. But he was pretty productive in the five, six years leading up to last year, and he's still only 29. Physical runner at 220 pounds. He's been pretty good. I feel like Lamar Miller kind of gets a bad rap. Look at the production the last four seasons we've seen him from 2015 to 2018. Over 870 yards in every season, and 13 uh, carry the one ball. About eight, What? what's that, 21 touchdowns in four seasons? He's a decent pass catcher as well. Like, someone should sign him. Why not the Bears for very, very cheap? Now, we know David Montgomery is going to get the bulk of the carries. But Tariq Cohen, in my opinion, should not get a lot of carries. Utilize him in the pass game a lot, but not in the rush game. Maybe four or five carries a game. Montgomery's not going to rush it 30 times a game. There's six to ten carries out there still available. Is Artavis Pierce going to take those carries? Is Ryan Nall going to be that guy this year? I think a guy like Lamar Miller makes a whole lot of sense. Now, there are other vets, like I mentioned, Devonta Freeman. You got LaShawn McCoy out there. Problem with Freeman is apparently he wants like five, six million per year. Bears aren't going to do that. So pick a running back if all things are equal. Type one for Lamar Miller, type two for Devonta Freeman, or type three for Shady McCoy. Number four free agent target here. Yes, we got to put Josh Gordon in there. Recently applied for reinstatement a couple of weeks ago. Fully expect him to get reinstatement with the, uh, reinstated with the new uh, CBA loosening on marijuana and those type of things. I expect him to be back. Alden Smith got reinstated. Why would Josh Gordon not get another chance? And let's be honest, the Bears could use another outside receiver. Now, he can't sign with the team until he is officially reinstated. So it's not like the Bears can sign him today. They can come to a verbal agreement, but can't get a official deal on paper until he, uh, you know, until he is reinstated. Decent season last year. 
year, uh, you know, 425 yards, uh, 16 yards a catch. He's still a big play receiver. And when you look at the Bears wide receiver depth chart, like Ted Gannon, he's 35 now. Like, I mean, Allen Robinson's the number one guy. Miller's going to man the slot there. I think Josh Gordon's an upgrade from Ginn. And worst case scenario, he gets suspended again. Ted Ginn can, t you know, can step back in, be that wide receiver three. You've got young guys like Riley Ridley, Javon Wibbs. Uh, we'll see what they do with Cordero Patterson and Darnell Mooney. But I think Josh Gordon could give this offense some big play potential on the outside. Now pick a receiver. Obviously, Antonio Brown is out there as well. I don't want anything to do with AB. FAB, if you know, you loyal chat sports watchers know what we're talking about there. But if you want AB, type AB. If you want Josh Gordon, type JG. I would hinge my bet more on Gordon than I would Antonio Brown because Brown's going to miss some games with the suspension. But let me know, JG or AB. All right, deal of the day. I hope you're still staying safe out there. These single fa these single Bears face coverings, they're just $14.99 right now. They're going to ship within two business days. Go to chatsports.com slash bearsmask1, chatsports.com slash bearsmask1. Stay safe. Stay safe in style. And we all want football this year, so just wear a mask even if you don't want to. Like, none of us like doing it, but I want to watch football. So chatsports.com slash bearsmask1. Top three players here, Kelvin Beecham, uh, the offensive tackle, left tackle specifically. Now, he's not great. I'm not going to sell you, you know, a fake bill of goods here and say, oh, he's an all-pro. He's better than Charles Leno, though, like I think he is, especially from what we saw last year. He started a 99 games in this league. You don't do that by accident. You don't do that by being well below average. He's an average to an above average tackle at this point, who I think would cost you – Maybe four million per year on a one-year, two-year deal. That's not bad value to me. Maybe you kick Leno to right tackle, or you just outright cut him and save the money there. I think you would get better play for cheaper from Kelvin Beecham at left tackle. You look at his past four years; he stays healthy and he doesn't give up a ton of sacks. Gave up just you know four sacks last year, three sacks the year before. He gives up three to four sacks per year, but he he's out there for you know 15, 16 games most seasons. Like he's reliable, he's above average, he's fairly consistent. Charles Leno's none of those. Like he is not reliable and consistent at all. He gets abused, especially in the run game. I think Kelvin Beecham would certainly be an upgrade. He'd probably cost you less money as well. What's the bigger need on the O line? You think it's guard? You think it's tackle? If you think it's guard, type G in the comment section. If you think it's tackle, type T in the comment section. Let me know. I think it's still guard. We'll get to a guard here in a minute. But tackle could use an upgrade as well. So go ahead and let me know down below. Top two free agent targets for the Chicago Bears. Let's go to cornerback Dre Kirkpatrick. It's not a major need, but... Do the Bears trust Jalen Johnson as their CB2, a rookie out of Utah who had some injury concerns? Maybe, but with no OTAs, no rookie minicamp, you know, limited training camp potentially, limited preseason, you may want to go sign a reliable veteran like Drake or Patrick. Now, you know, he's not going to come in and give you elite all-pro level play, but... I think he's a solid CB2 that has started a ton of football games in this league. He's probably not going to give you 10 pass breakups and three picks like he did in 2016, but I think he can be an adequate Prince of Mukamara type replacement. Like, I think he can be that level of player, and it takes pressure off Jalen Johnson or one of these other young guys that's probably going to get the start at CB2 if Chicago doesn't start anyone. Maybe Johnson competes for that nickel job with Buster Screen. Uh, as a rookie. That could be a more favorable outcome for him in year one for the Chicago Bears. Now, I trust the Bears. I trust this defense especially. I think they can roll with what they have, but if you're concerned at all about that second corner spot, go get Drake or Patrick for like three million bucks. I think it makes a whole lot of sense. Should the Bears sign a cornerback? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I'm on the fence with limited off-season uh, workouts, kind of leaning yes. I'd like to get a vet out there, so I'm going to go ahead and type Y in the comments section. Top guy here, I teased it, Larry Warford. This shouldn't come as a surprise. We've talked about this guy a lot in our rumors and news shows. Last we heard is that he wants $7 million per year. That was about six weeks ago. Has that price come down? Did you get him at five, five and a half, six million? 
I think you might be able to. Bears have a massive need at right guard. We all know that. Like, we talked about Beecham earlier, how Leno wasn't great at left tackle. Right guard is bad for the Bears. And Larry Warford is a rock-solid right guard. He's not an all-pro, but he's a multi-time pro bowler, and he's only given up, uh, was that, seven sacks in four years while only missing about five games in four years? That's pretty solid. Like, that's really good. He mashes in the run game, which is what the Bears like to do. And he is an upgrade from Rashad Coward and Jermaine Ifedi, who are the two guys likely to compete at the right guard position. I think this is a no-brainer. You can get him at $6 million or less. I think you do it. I think you do it today. I think you should have done it a month ago. I think it makes way too much sense for the Chicago Bears to not try and go get Larry Warford. Now, I asked you guys this at the beginning. I want to ask you one more time. What free agent do you want the Bears to sign? I just gave you six options. There's other guys out there. If you Look, if you say Jadavion Clowney, you got to tell me how the money works. Like, are the Bears cutting two or three players? Because that's probably what would have to happen. Let me know what free agent you want the Bears to sign. And just to recap my six options, Mark Barron, the inside linebacker, I think he would be a perfect third linebacker on the inside for this Bears defense. Lamar Miller, veteran bruising running back, coming off ACL, can be that second runner behind Montgomery. Josh Gordon, he's a guy I'd be willing to take a chance on, especially if it's for the vet minimum. Top three guys here, Kelvin Beecham, I think he'd be an upgrade at left tackle over Charles Leno Jr. Drake Kirkpatrick, if you're unsure about CB2, I think he plugs in and he can give you 16 quality starts there. And then Larry Warford, Guys, right guard, you need one. Warford's out there. Go sign him. All right, those are my top six free agent targets. We'll see you next time.